It's Dylan. When I'm not challenging myself to eat things that I hate on the internet, one of my favorite things to do is be an actor. Uh, you may have seen me in some film productions such as Island of the Great Spirit, especially if you live in Ontario, or recognize me from some of the stage work that I've done here for the Summer Theatre in Gore Bay. The most recent project that I've been involved with is called The Philanthropist. Now, believe it or not, it's always been one of my bucket list dreams to be a philanthropist. And so now I have the opportunity in this new film by Jason Stewart. If you're not familiar with Jason's work, he's one of the most brilliant, um, community-minded, socially conscious um, creators that I know of working out of Massey, Ontario, which is north of Manitoulin Island. I think what's really neat about philanthropy is doing things for the love of humanity. Now, I get to be a philanthropist and fill out my dream by being in this movie, but if you've ever had the desire to help out, to be a patron or to donate, there's also an Indiegogo campaign for the philanthropist. You can find it at igg.me forward slash at at forward slash philanthropist. To me, independent projects like this are vitally important. Not only do they allow actors like me the opportunity to participate in films and gain experience where they might not otherwise uh, be able to do so, but they also help the community. I mean, when was the last time that we had a film shot right here on site in Gore Bay? And there's also an opportunity for over 50 other background actors to participate in this movie when they film the special, oh, I won't spoil anything, but the special, no, that's going to spoil things too. Well, they get to use a lot of extras and it's going to be really neat. I love storylines like this. I've always enjoyed short films. I've always enjoyed short, um, short stories by folks like Stephen King, uh, David Lynch, and uh, also stories like The Twilight Zone, The Outer Limits, Tales from the Dark Side, Black Mirror, it's something where uh, speculative fiction and storytelling get to talk about, I don't know, um, issues in our society, but do so in a really intriguing and an interesting way that engages the audience. So I'm terribly excited to finally get to live out my dream of being a philanthropist. And if you'd like to be a philanthropist too, I hope you decide to interact with this project. There's a lot of really neat perks. You can donate as little as $10. You can get yourself one of Jason's beautiful fairy doors that I've been ogling over at the Graphic Con in Sudbury each year for uh, the last couple of years. Um, there's the opportunity to have your names and your name and lights and included in the credits of the movie. Um, there's some music, there's some art, there's a great amount of participation. If you want to see just how uh, neat and uh, supported this project is, then I'd like to urge you to go and look at the campaign. And I really hope that you participate. And uh, thanks for helping out our community and uh, passion projects like this. I don't know if a lot of folks ever realize this, but I've been a huge fan of crowdfunding for a long time because it's actually a democratizing platform. It allows people to put their money directly into the projects that they want to see supported, which I think is so much more elegant and eloquent than a lot of the other systems of taxation, for example, where money goes God knows where. So this is a really neat uh, opportunity. I hope that you'll uh, participate. I hope that you'll watch The Philanthropist when it comes out. Jason's previous movie went to and was shown at over 15 film festivals all around the world. So I think this one has going to have a real chance of getting out there and being seen. And uh, thank you so much. This has been Dylan. I hope you have a great Easter Fool's Day.